Hey everyone, uh, so I was asked to do some type of like leather tutorial on uh, the leather work that I've been doing lately and I figured I'll just uh, have you all follow along with me working on this holster. Um, so one of my friends down in Georgia, he asked me to make him a double holster western style uh, for his... I think Colt 38, uh, yeah, I think so, yes. Um, and figured uh, what better way to kind of show y'all uh, working with leather. So this is my first ever like tooling leather slash carving leather project. And last night I uh, had already done one of the holsters uh, it's not sewn up yet, but anyway, uh, this is the cutout uh, for the uh, 38, and it folds over like this. Um, gun slides into there. This folds over and uh, loops into the, I guess, a slot on the belt to, to hold the gun. This one is for the left side. Um, and yeah, so you can kind of already see, I've already uh, cased the leather, uh, meaning making it wet. This is a uh, vegetable tan leather. Uh, it takes a lot longer to produce, but it is a very natural way of producing the leather. Uh, this is a four to, four to, oh no, five to six ounce leather, uh, talking about the thickness of it. Whereas, let's see, this one here, is a um, two to three ounce leather, uh, but yeah. So we'll uh, we'll kind of go through uh, tooling this particular one. I have already done one. Uh, I did this one last night. This is my very first ever like tooled leather project. Uh, this is for the right holster, and. Yeah, so it goes like that. I have to sew uh, these two together and put in the snap for the uh, right gun. But yeah, I, I really, I'm basically just going to take this image and reverse it and put it on the other one. But yeah, we'll go through and uh, this will probably be like multiple part series just because it does take a little time to do this type of work and yeah we'll get started so let's see if i can uh it's gonna be a little difficult for this um i don't know if you can see that let's see no i can't i got i got shadows coming in here, let's see if I can do this. Maybe that helps a little bit. Um, so I have a bowl of water. I just use a regular dauber and get it wet and wet the leather. This makes the leather more pliable and acceptable to cuts, which will then um, be able to kind of open up a little bit, open the leather to allow it to hold and create a 3D effect on the leather. So this is called casing the leather and yeah so you get it wet smooth it out a little bit um, and this is just some tracing paper with the pattern on it you can kind of see it there uh, this is I all I did was just cut this out once and reversed it and I pricked it with my awl to uh, create the shape of it 
and now placing it on the leather and I'll trace it out with stylus. So there's a pointed end, well not really pointed, blunt pointed, and then there's one with a ball tip on the end of there. But yeah, um, with the case leather, I'm just going to trace out this pattern. Normally you use a plastic film to protect it in between this tracing paper and uh, the leather. However, because I'm making, I'm using this uh, tracing pattern as a uh, being disposable, um, so I'll throw it away after I'm done here. I'm not too worried about the plastic tracing film. And it doesn't really have to be perfect. Um, that'll work. Oh, no. There we go. There. So, in the leather now, it's got the marks for that. And then you take, well, we'll stop it here because this is already a eight minute long video. Uh, and uh, we'll have the next video uploaded here shortly.